Pranam. Today, I'm going to share the meaning of the Siddhanam Buddhanam Stotra, which is said as part of the Devandan as well as the Pratikaman of us as Jains. So, Siddhanam Buddhanam Pargayanam Parampargayanam Siddh, Namo Siddhanam, the second line of the Naukar Mantra. Siddhs are those who have conquered all eight karmas, all eight types of karmas, there's many more, but eight main categories, and attained moksha or salvation, saying that I bow down to all the Siddhs, Siddhanam, Buddhanam, who have attained the ultimate aim, Pargayanam, there's an ocean, and some there's people trying to swim, and there's people who have crossed the shore of this ocean. Bargayam have crossed this ocean of life, death, and rebirth to the ultimate state of salvation. Bargayam, Parambargayam, the end of that tradition they've reached. Parambargayam, Namo Saya Savasiddhanam. I bow down to all the Siddhagans. Namo Saya Jo, and then now the second line of this um, prayer. Jo Devanvi Devo. Jam Dev Panjali Namam Santi. The Devs, the angels even pray down to Nam Santi Mahaviram to Mahavir Bhagwan. So it's the full line is Jo Devanvi Devo Jam Dev Panjali Namam Santi Tam Dev Dev Mahiam Sir Savande Mahaviram the twenty fourth Tirthankara. Ikovi line three Ikovi Namukaro Jinvarvasas Vadhamanasa Sansar Sagrotare. Naram va Narimva. Even one prayer with heartfelt, deep devotion to Vadhamanasa. Vadhaman was the other name from Havir Bhagwan. Sansar Sagro Tare. Sansar is ocean of life, death, and rebirth. Sagar is an is ocean. So here's the extension of the metaphor. Sansar Sagro Tare. Naram va Narimva. Frees men and women from this ocean of life, death, and rebirth through his teachings, through praying, through deep devotion, one would eventually become like him. Arihanta ne japatata japata arihanta bani jasho. Ikkovi namukar jirunwa sasvad manasan sar sagrautari naramva narimva. The next line, line. Ujint sel sihre dikha nara misahiya tandham chakvatim arith nemim namam sami. Here we're thinking of the holy place, Girnar. Girnar is one of the oldest holy place of the Jains. And here was the place, Dikha Nana Misahiya, Kalyanak, or the renunciation or salvation Kalyanak, Diksha, Nana, Girvagna, the attainment of absolute knowledge and the attainment of moksha. Dikha Nana Misahiya, Tandham Chakutim, Arith Nemim, Arishta Nemi, the 22nd Tirthankara, Neminat Bhagwan. Namam Sami, I bow down. You imagine Neminat Bhagwan at Girnar and his different Kalyanats that happened there and you bow down. And Girnar is a beautiful, beautiful, magical spiritual place which maybe sometime in the future we can do a video just on, on Girnar and Hembal of Maharaj Sahib and that whole place there and its aura, its power. Ujint Sel Sihre, Dikha Naram Nisahiya Tandham Chakvatim Arit Nemim Namam Sami Chattari at das doya vandia, jinvar chauvisam, parmat niti atta, siddha sidhimam disantu. Ashtapatirt, a famous place in the Jain tradition. It's in the direction of the Himalayas, but much, much further north. Five, 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 zero, zero, zero kilometers away from Shatranje, according to ancient texts. The world as we know it is much, much smaller than that given in our scriptures and much of it is beyond our reach in this Kali Yuga. This is a huge subject with lots of metaphysics and geography. Not just the Jain scriptures, but also the Bible and many other faiths present very similar accounts of geography. I am a scientist as well as a philosopher and a devotee of my God. I have unwavering faith, but I am able to test many things with science. And it's important not just to accept the status quo of science in the modern age, like the frog in the well. And to now consider the metaphor of the frog in the well, consider many unexplained things. The Bermuda Triangle, travelling beyond the poles. There is a significant movement with huge swathes of the earth, the flat earth, beyond the poles, and scientists being part of that movement too.
Before judging any viewpoint, consider Anekanta. See the video earlier on this channel and read about Plato's allegory of the cave in ancient Greek philosophy, which we will also do a future video on. To expand our horizons, our minds must be open, and this is the essence of not judging and seeing beyond the well or the cave. This is the book, The World Beyond the Poles. Now with that, let's proceed on the chariot of faith, on the journey of understanding Ashtapad. Right to the times of Adinat Bhagwan, the first Tirthankara, 98 brothers took Diksha here in this very place of Ashtapad. The famous story of Bahubali, the 99th or the second oldest brother, and his Pratibod by Brahmi and Sundari occurred near Ashtapad, Mahatirth. Marichi, the son of Bharat Chakravarti, heard about his future incarnation being born as the 24th Dirtankara Mahavir Bhagwan near Ashtapad. And Ashtapad ji was where Adinath Bhagwan, the first Dirtankara of this time cycle, attained Nirvan or Moksha. The first Swami Vatsadya Swatamik Bhakti of this time cycle occurred in Vinita Nagri near, Vinita Nagri, near Ashtapad ji and Ravan. Most people have aspects of good and bad, and this was also the case with Ravan, who was here during the time of the 20th Dirtankara Muni Surat Swami. And there is a story about the depth of his bhakti using his own vein to replace a broken veena string on the Mount Ashtapad. And Gautam Swami, the first disciple of Mahavir Bhagwan, much closer to our time, had many lubdhis or powers he hardly used as a distract from the ultimate purpose of sadhana of moksha. But in this instance, for the spiritual purpose of reaching Astapaji, he had made use of his labdhi. Now, where does that line come from? Jatari at das doya vandiya jinvar chavisam. Well, it's describing Ashtapadji as we approach it and the Tirthankaras that we see. So as we approach Ashtapadji from Bharat Shetra or our world, we always approach from the South Gate. And there we see four Tirthankaras, Chattari or four. At is eight. And proceeding around Ashtapadji to the West Gate, one would see and praise and pray to in Bhav Puja eight Tirthankar Bhagwans from Shupashwanath to Anantanath Bhagwan. In the North Gate, we next proceed thus ten Tirthankaras and finally in the East Gate there's two Tirthankaras, Rishabhya Bhagwan and Ajitnan Bhagwan. And the reason they are in this formation or one explanation is they are the actual size is in real life and we know Rishabhya Bhagwan, Ajitnan Bhagwan, as the time cycle progresses, the size of men and at that time of the Tirthankaras and all gets less. I will try in the future to do a dedicated video about our beautiful Tirths and pilgrimage places like Ashtapadji, Girnar, Palitana, Samachikarji and their rich, rich heritage, stories, things to learn from. And while we may never be able to reach Ashtapad ourselves in this life, in this Kali Yuga, in this time, we can understand it. Go on a Bhav Yatra and Bhav Puja, which I hope this video has managed in a small portion to do. And now, we will progress to finish this explanation of the Siddhanam Buddhanam Stotra. Thank you. Chattari Atta Dasa Doya Vandiya Jinvar Jovisam Parmatta Nitti Atta Siddha Siddhi Mam Disantu May the 24th year Tankaras who have been liberated and attained the Siddha state grant me the boon of salvation. Parmatta Nitti Atta Parmart means the highest truth or salvation. Those that have attained the highest truth or salvation or moksha or the state of Siddha, Siddha, Siddhimam, Disantu, or Siddhas, do grant me the boon of salvation, i.e., following the path defeat, to defeat all the inner enemies through inner resolve and resolution to defeat all inner enemies of karma. See the completeness and the poetry of the sutra. We started in line one, offering obeisance and remembering 
siddhas and so the sutra completes in the same way now we will recite the sutra one last time with the meanings illustrated alongside siddhanam buddhanam pargayanam param pargayanam logamuvgayanam namo saya sava siddhanam jo devanvi devo jam dev panch namam santi tam dev dev mahim sirsa vande mahaviram ikko vi namukkaro jin varvas has vadhamanassa sansar sagro tari naram va narim va ujintsal sihre dikha nanam nisahiya tandham chakvatim arith nemim namam sami chattari ath das doya vandiya jin var chovisam parmat nithi atha siddha sithimam disantu and that last part siddha sithimam disantu is that same line we have in the logasa sutra that sids those who attain salvation or moksha i hope when i pray to you and i hope one day i can attain what you have attained and become free from the cycle of life death and rebirth where i have to cause so much pain to others and myself thank you for listening jay jinendra pranam if i made any mistakes or said anything against the jinshasan manuchan kaya kari micham nilam please forgive me this is a very humble effort my knowledge level is very low but i'm just making this effort to share a little of of the little i do know thank you